the final judge. But God is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. Psalm 75, 7. If only we would learn to live through the eyes of eternity. That means we would live our lives as if we could die at any moment and stand before Almighty God. How different our decisions would be, how much purer our motives. Even the way we treat others would be drastically affected. I've had the opportunity to speak about eternity to thousands of lost sinners over the years. It comes as a shrill wake-up call to a sleepy soul. It serves as a reality check to those who are lost in the world of alcohol and drugs. It's like a slap in the face to the backslider, but I'm not alone when it comes to warning people about eternity. God-fearing preachers and evangelists have been bellowing out this message for centuries. Listen to William Plummer. Have you counted the cost of the course you are now pursuing? If you are in sin, you are living at a dreadful cost. You are losing precious time, blessed opportunities. If you go on living as you are now, you will lose your poor soul. You will lose it forever. Does your conscience say you are doing right? In your solemn moments, do you approve the choices you've made? What will you think of your present conduct when you come to die? Does God approve of your life? He is the final judge. These are hard, soul-stirring words that need to be heard. Time is slipping away. Even this year only has a few months left. We must live for eternity. We will one day face the final judge. This devotion was taken from Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and have a blessed day.